Hey guys, Tootie here. Today we're going to be racing at Bahrain for round one of this league racing season. Uh, it's a realistic performance league. Um, we're racing for Ferrari, so hopefully we can challenge for the championship. Yeah, let's get into it. So we're heading out for our first run of Q1. Oh, it should be our only run of Q1. It should be uh, pretty easy to, uh, to get through. So heading down into turn one. Try and just take it nice and careful. We don't need to risk invalidation uh, since we don't need a particularly quick lap. So let's see what the time is through the final corner. Nice and steady and up to the line. It is a 129.3 which puts us provisionally fastest uh, in Q1 by about a tenth of a second. So we will take that, but obviously we need to replicate uh, good performances in Q2 and, and Q3. So we're starting our first run on the used softs, or sorry, ending our first run on the used softs uh, in, in Q2. We're going to come up to the line, activate the DRS, it's a 29.9, which will not put us safely through to Q3. So we, you can see, we're, we're P4 at the moment, which is decent. Uh, but uh, most people are going to improve, so we're going to come out again, start our f uh, final run of Q2, and just try to improve. It doesn't need to be a brilliant lap, but this is on the fresh tyres, so hopefully we should have at least half a second in it, maybe more. So uh, coming down into turn one, hit the apex very, very nicely. You can see we've already gained nearly one tenth of a second, over a tenth of a second, a tenth and a half now. Nearly two tenths of a second heading down into turn three already. Try and hit the apex nicely. We struggled to do that so far in this qualifying. We do it very well. Uh, down into turn five or at turns five and six, whatever it is. Four tenths of a second up. This has been a great lap. We just need to keep it nice and safe. We have a big slide on the exit of turn eight, I think that is. And uh, heading down into turn 10 really difficult corner easy to lock up the front tyres but we keep it nice and steady six tenths up it's obviously a purple sector one let's see if we can make it a purple sector two as well nearly seven tenths of a second up we if we can keep this together we will be easily through to q3 which is of course the expectation considering we're in the second fast car a little slide on the exit of the penultimate corner but it shouldn't affect us too much, nearly 8 tenths of a second up through the last corner, keep it on the track very nicely, we have done it up to the line and it's fastest provisionally in Q2. And we do stay fastest but by uh, 19 thousandths of a second, so very close but uh, hopefully we can uh, you know, keep up some good performances and get pole in Q3 as well. So we're starting the first lap of Q3 now. Uh, we just need to to get a good banker. This is on the used tyres. Of course, we're going to use fresh on our last run, but just a little bit of practice and also a banker lap, a big slide uh, through turn one, but we'll continue it anyway, of course. Activate the DRS, heading down to turn three, Late on the brakes, maybe a little bit wide off the apex. Big slide as we get on the marbles, just a little bit. Now, into the fast right left chicane. This lap isn't going to be any anything special, as you can probably tell with all the mistakes we've made. But, oh, big slide again. But hopefully it will be good enough to just take a little bit of pressure off for our first, uh, oh, sorry, our last run of Q3 so that we can fully focus on just going as quickly as possible. Heading down now into turn 11, again late on the brakes, take a little bit of the inside curb, just don't hit the outside curb too much as it can, uh, it can take you off the track a little bit if you hit it too much. And again inside curb, outside curb, very nicely, up to track limits. It's, again, yeah, this lap isn't going to be anything special but obviously Hopefully it can be good enough to maybe put us in the top seven in case we mess up our final run. But anyway, up to the line, it is not a great run. <laughs> uh, we are only P5 with a 29.7 there. 
So, well, the pressure is on then for our final run. Come out of the garage now. And this is the one which matters, the final run of Q3. Can we put our scarlet red Ferrari <laughs> back on pole position at Bahrain? Through the final corner to start our final lap of this qualifying session. Open the DRS nice and <laughs> wide open. I'm not very good at commentary. Anyway, uh, we are going to head down to turn one. Of course, we had a big slide on our last run, but... Oh, a little bit too late on the brakes. We missed the apex, but we're still about two tenths up as we do not have as big of a slide as we did last time. Heading down into turn three, we again missed the apex on our last lap. We hit it absolutely wonderfully this time. Up to track limits on the exit as well. And let's see, we're, this is a great lap. Half a second up already. This could be a pole lap. We could go fastest in all three of the qualifying sessions if we can hold this lap together. Six tenths. Heading down into turn 10, only halfway through the lap and we've already improved three quarters of a second. On the exit of turn uh, turn 10, we are seven tenths up now and we just need another maybe two tenths through the final sector if we want to take pole as we are about nine tenths. I think the fastest at this point in time is a 28 Point eight, and our la uh, our best lap was a 27. Oh, sorry, a 29.7. But anyway, heading down into the final corner, it's nine tenths up, nearly a second. We have a slide though, but will this be good enough for pole position? Up to the line, yes, it is. We are on pole once again, but by seven thousandths of a second over the Red Bull. But, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's seven thousands or seven seconds, it's still pole. Uh, we're editing our strategy, we're going to start on the hard Superb compound tyres. Sure so, we, we just need to keep uh, Dylan out. in the Red Bull behind us as long as possible. Okay, so Obviously the he's the on the medium tyres, which lights. will be quicker. Uh, and then, if we can keep him behind, we'll have the advantage, as in the second stint, we'll be on the quicker tyres and can hopefully pull away from him. But the grid is forming now. The lights are about to start as we're waiting for whoever that is to connect. But it's one red light, two red lights, three, four, five, and it's lights out and away we go. We get an excellent start. We cover off Dylan immediately to make sure he doesn't get the run on us down into turn one. But anyway, it's going to be maybe three wide into the first corner. We go nice and late on the brakes, maybe a little rear lock up. But it doesn't matter, we managed to keep it steady and we retain the lead through the first chicane. But Dylan is coming at us. What can he do? He's looking to the outside. We're going to uh, keep our inside, try and not go too late on the brakes, but also defend from him. Maybe a little bit of contact on the exit there, but we do stay ahead for uh, the first part of lap one. And this could be absolutely crucial. Dylan is being challenged by the Alfa Romeo which will give us a nice little gap heading down to the next straight. We need to have uh, as big of a cushion to Dylan as we can, so that obviously the bigger cushion we have, and also if there's a car between us like the Alfa Romeo is for now, but Dylan is coming back at him down into turn 11. Can he get through? Yes he can. Dylan back up to second place, about half a second gap now. We are going to save a little bit of ERS, obviously we've still got plenty, but we need to save as much as we can while we've got a little cushion so that we can defend as long as we can using the ERS, obviously. Heading into the final corner now, Dylan only a quarter of a second behind us. And we need to get a good exit here if we want to defend from him down this long back straight. No DRS enabled, us. it's only, well, lap two now. Uh, Dylan is flying the Red Bull is very very quick down the straight he comes oh, just a little bit of, oh a little bit of contact there and we slide through the corner we're gonna give him the big old squeeze this is elbows out racing here and can we stay ahead we're on the outside of turn three can we keep the lead here let's see little slide but we get the better run 
on Dylan and we are still in the lead on lap two but this is very very difficult defending against the Red Bull here heading now onto the back straight or the pit straight I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it's called for the second time heading on to lap three Dylan is gaining 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 we're going to let him through in the braking zone so that we can get DRS and fight back on him back to it back against him sorry on the second straight give him the big squeeze and enable the DRS and oh, oh there's contact and we're, we're in the barrier yeah that's not great um, we've got no front wing massive rear wing damage down to 10th the only partially good thing is that the virtual safety car will, will stop how much time we're losing, but VSC ends now through the final corner. We get hit out of the way by the Haas, which I guess is fair enough considering how slowly we were going. But into the pits now to get the new front wing after that contact. And now it's really just going to be damage limitation in this Grand Prix. See if we can get any points, see if we can salvage anything from this race. Uh, it's a decent stop from the Ferrari boys, at 7.6 second stop. Obviously they've uh, fixed the front wing, but you can't you can't fix uh, rear wing damage during the race, so... Yeah, that's unfortunate, but... Uh, we'll have to... We'll have to just do whatever we can. Down in, in P18 now. Out of the pits try and just yeah coast it I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, ooh, end of lap 5 now we've skipped a few laps ahead it is a fastest lap which we'll definitely take considering basically got no rear wing um, you can see already through turn 1 just how much the car is sliding and that will be a theme in this video um, the car will just be Sliding around all over the place as Yo Villain, I don't know how to say his name, has gone off the track. We're up into P15 now. And down is. Oh, down into turn 8 or 7, whatever that is. He's. Uh, I think he kind of forgot how to break down, unfortunately. And that's uh, kind of totaled, uh, totaled our rear wing, as you can see. <laughs> Can't even keep it in a straight line through turn 10. Now we're catching up to the Aston Martin who is uh, who has disconnected from the session so he is just a ghost car so we should easily be able to just go straight through him and up into P12 in this race as we're just sliding so much and uh, just sometimes getting to the apex of the corner a little bit too early and you know, hitting the inside curb when we don't want to. But, you know, it's still a long way to go in this race. 18 laps. We are uh, P12 now. We can still salvage points from this, I believe we can. Uh, we've got about 7 seconds to the top 10. But okay, someone's at... The Alpha, Alpha Tauri's out of the race. And that is a full course caution. Safety car. That has <laughs> that has saved our race. We're going to come into the pit lane, I believe. Yes, we are. Mark is telling us to stay out, but I don't really care. <laughs> We're going to come in anyway for a new set of medium tyres, I think. Yes, a new set of medium tyres on lap 12 of this race. We should come out again around uh, where we were before yes we come out again p12 everyone around us on the hards so let's see what we can do hopefully hopefully we can get a a, a good uh, restart and pass a lot of them before our uh, medium tires begin to wear out compared to theirs oh we thought they were going then but then they stop again and uh, <laughs> Now, now it's restarted. We're getting a legal overtake on the Haas, who, who is lagging all over the place. I don't know what's going on with him. We'll let him back through. 
And the, yeah, the house, I don't really know what's going on there, but, uh, okay, yeah, we kind of just, we kind of just spun in, but, uh, but anyway, I think the P11, the huge slide through turn three, even on these fresh mediums. Now, we're catching up to this McLaren in front of us. Can we do anything against him? Everyone's bunching up a little bit because of uh, everyone obviously sorting out their respective battles. Can we do anything? Into turn 10. We're going to try the Alonso's, uh, or the Alonso esque move. Have we pulled it off? We're ahead on the exit. Yes, we have. And we're into the point paying positions. Right behind this Williams car now. What? can we do? It's three wide between our teammate and AlphaTauri and the Williams. <laughs> can we get a run around the outside of the AlphaTauri? Him and our teammate make a little bit of contact and we are ahead now of the AlphaTauri and right behind our teammate. Let's see, will we do anything against him? We won't obviously try and uh, do any risky moves since we don't want to, uh, to risk <laughs> making this race an even worse result for the team, obviously we are massively out of position at the moment, P8 and P9 is not where you want to be in a Ferrari. So through the first chicane, we're not going to be close enough to make anything work on our teammate Yeovilin, retires from the session but in the pit lane so that won't be any safety car or anything, okay, but oh never mind, <laughs> there's a virtual safety car on lap. 18 of this Grand Prix so nothing is going to really happen here I don't think anyone has any reason to pit no we uh, oh actually maybe one I think one person pit we're up into uh, P7 now um, on lap 19 of this Grand Prix it was a bad restart from us but it doesn't really matter too much since uh, obviously the two of the cars ahead are in uh, pretty... No, sorry, one of them are in a slow car, the Williams, so we should catch back up with relative ease. Uh, ten laps to... <laughs> We've gone round again. The car was threatening, threatening to do that this whole race and it was only a matter of time before it did it. And I guess it's best that... Uh, that happens uh, with still 10 laps to go instead of right at the end. There's still plenty of time. Oh my... <laughs> the, um... Yeah, the, the rear end is a little bit... Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit interesting. Um, nine more laps to go of this race. Of course, uh, <laughs> kind of 10 seconds off the pace on that lap because of that Spinella. But we are still in the points paying positions, so hopefully, uh, maybe with a little bit of luck, we can get back <laughs> to where we were. But saying that, I have a massive slide, and it's going to be very, very difficult to get to the end on these tyres now, as obviously because of the reduced uh, the reduced rear wing damage uh, downforce due to the damage. We are relying a lot more on the mechanical grip, and so uh, when that goes, it's kind of awful. Uh, <laughs> but on to the end of lap 20. We are in the DRS of the McLaren. That's, is that two people? Uh, that's another safety car. We are very, very lucky there. Right as we're coming uh, past the pit lane as well. That is perfect timing. We're going to come in. For the soft compound tyres with 8 laps to go of this Bahrain Grand Prix. Okay, the um, the yeah, and that's like nice absolutely wonderful for us. That puts us right where we need to be. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really put us right where we need to be, but it um, puts us closer to the cars uh, ahead of us. Um, but we're obviously down to P12 as a few people have stayed out. But, oh, it's a bad, bad uh, safety car restart. We're about uh, three quarters of a second behind the car ahead. But again, it won't matter too much since uh, since the pack's so close. Everyone's going to be uh, bunched up 
uh, bunching up into turn one anyway, so we can just go a little bit quicker. You can see we're already right back to being behind the McLaren. Let's see if we can get ahead of the McLaren soon enough. There's a Williams up ahead who has disconnected, so we're just gonna <laughs> go straight through him and up. Wait, there we go, up into P11 now. Right behind the McLaren once again, who is right at the end of the points paying positions. Let's see if we can, we can't do the Alonso move, he's uh, covered off the inside very well. We're going to go to the outside, we've definitely gotten the curb a little bit more than we wanted to, but now we're very close. Turn on the battery. Let's see, can we go down the inside into turn 11? Yes we can, he lifts off maybe a little bit before the, <laughs> the corner. You can see the, the car is still sliding around, but we do control it. And we are up back into the top 10 and behind the Aston Martin drivers, uh, one of which has a 3 second penalty. They're both on the, uh, the medium and the hard tyres respectively, so we should get uh, past them soon hopefully as let's see we're gonna turn on the battery down the straight uh, the leading Aston Martin is flashing is out of is out of VRS and we go through the middle down the straight nice and late on the brake just not to risk them hitting into the back of us and we are up into eighth place now let's see we are just under a second behind the Red Bull in P7. I wonder if we can get past him soon. It would be great. It would be a great result if we can salvage P7 from such an awful race like this one. Uh, uh, potentially even better. <laughs> we go a little bit too late on the brakes once again. It's obviously better to, to just go wide on the exit instead of risking a spin by uh, trying to save it. We lift off the throttle down the straight so that we can stay behind and get the DRS down this next straight. Try and maximise the exit which is very difficult considering we have no rear grip at the moment. But simple move up into P7 and just move straight past the Red Bull down the straight using DRS. Absolutely perfect. We don't need anything fancy, we just need to get past these guys as swiftly as possible. But now it's going to be difficult to gain any more positions as uh, most people here are in the top, top cars um, in this realistic performance league, obviously. And top cars in real life as well. So, we are gaining on our teammate and this Mercedes. The Mercedes has a three second time penalty. It's wheel to wheel between our teammate and this Mercedes. The Mercedes is ahead. Our teammate is run wide off the exit. He decides to just let us through. We're now up into P6 and in the DRS range of the Mercedes. Obviously, he's got a three second penalty, but we might as well get past anyway. To see if we can charge after the Williams and the Alfa Romeo in P3 and 4. The Mercedes has a big slide and we go past and also have the DRS so he shouldn't have any chance at uh, getting that position back from us assuming no mistakes. We've run very very wide through turn 1 but just careful on the exit. Use a bit of ERS just to make sure he doesn't get too close into turn Three, where we have a huge slide, but uh, I guess let's just cut, cut away from that one and on to lap 28 now. We've pulled about two and a half seconds to our teammate and Mercedes now. It's about two seconds um, to the the two cars up front, up in front, sorry. Uh, but obviously with one lap left, it, despite the... Oh, yeah, look at that. Despite the fact they're in... Um, some of the slowest cars well yeah we probably have less rear downforce than them so it's going to be tough I don't think it's going to be possible with uh, just two thirds of a lap remaining now in this race 
but we'll try and we'll push hard anyway. We've got about three seconds to the cars behind, and I mean, even if we spin, it'll still be a Ferrari 56 at the end of the day, which is what matters. So, on the exit of turn 10 now, just keep it nice and careful. We're definitely not going to be able to catch the two uh, the two cars in front of us, so we'll just take it nice and safe for the final uh, part of the final lap <laughs> of this uh, first race of the season in this uh, league. <laughs> um, up to the final corner now. We're going to come through to take home at least what I think is a pretty respectable P5 considering what has happened over the course of this race our teammate comes home for P6 uh, Envy hits gets the driver of the day good job to him but we will absolutely take that well done to everyone up on the podium but uh, we'll definitely take a P5 it's not ideal but I think that was about all we could do under the circumstances. We won't want to uh, have more races like that, but I mean, yeah, as a one-off, not too bad. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix for round two of this league racing season.